y'all, Miss Malice here, and welcome back to another packing video. If this is your first time joining us, my husband and I have an eBay store called Retro New Market, where we ship same day, Monday through Friday before 3 p.m. and Saturday before noon. Uh, we pack our previous day's sales so that we can show our eBay customers that we're taking care to um, pack their items with love and uh, so they get there safely, as well as we like to show our YouTube viewers what we sold on our eBay store. So, um, unfortunately, uh, we haven't had a lot of time to post. It was the end of my school semester. I'm in graduate school, so uh, it's just kept us really busy. Also, with our son going back to school, he's a sophomore. Uh, that's taken up a lot of our time for the last two weeks, so we haven't been posting as much as we should have. So our sales have been a little slow the last two days, but um, we did go out and source, and so I was going to talk a little bit about that, too, after I did the packing of the video, um, or packing of the items. So we only have one item today. Um, and that is for kids songs. This is a DVD uh, from PBS. It was a kids show back in the early 90s. Um, I believe even maybe in the 80s. Uh, this one is called Let's Work Together. I did just resurface the disc. It had a few light scratches on it. Nothing, nothing deep or anything like that. One resurfacing and it was uh, good as new. Um, I used to watch this show on Sunday mornings. Uh, it was on PBS when I was a kid. Uh, sometimes it would come on Saturdays too on PBS. And uh, where I lived, we didn't have cable. We had to use the antenna to get TV. So we only got like PBS and ABC and Fox. So um, this kind of brings back memories. So this is going out to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm sure it'll bring back fond memories, just like it did for me when I found this. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, you get to share it maybe with your kids. Um, so yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Elizabeth. Appreciate that. Go ahead and get this packed up. Um, this is going media mail. It is media. Um, it's one of those really thin uh, DVD cases. I don't know if it was uh, like a box set originally, you know, like they have those slim cases when you have a box set, um, because I do have multiple copies, not multiple copies, but I have multiple versions of kids songs and I've sold a couple of them separately, like the one with Debbie Gibson. Um, so I haven't personally seen it with um, like a box sleeve, but it, you know, kind of makes me curious. But the only reason I'm saying that is we actually shipped one out and the customer said that the disc was crushed in the mail. So um, that's kind of a, a little unusual to me. So I just wanted to make sure that um, I closed the case really well so that uh, it didn't get roughed up while it was being shipped. Because, you know, we don't want anybody's discs getting damaged in shipping. So anyways, Elizabeth, thank you so much. So I wanted to talk about our pickup yesterday. So you can see we've got lots and lots of Nintendo stuff going on, some other stuff over here. So last night, um, Malice went to the pawn shop that we go to where we have um, a good relationship with, and he just had a good feeling. He's like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out, see what they've got going on. So he found some really cool stuff. Um, he found this Super Retron HD. It's complete with the controllers and everything. Um, he was able to pick this up for, I want to say, $60. Um, he also picked up this uh, Retron HD, just the NES version. This one actually plays PAL games. This one um, just plays the NES cartridges. What was awesome about this is this came with 22 cartridge games. So that's what I was going to talk about a little bit right here. So. This right here was our original Nintendo collection. Um, these are our more pristine games or more high-end games. And then this is what we had right here. This is what we picked up yesterday. Um, the only games that we didn't have, or the only games that we already did have but we swapped out with better copies from what we picked up yesterday were the Goonies 2 and um, Turtles 2, the arcade game. Everything else uh, was brand new for the collection. So that's really awesome because it helps us a lot fill out the collection. There's some good stuff in there. Uh, there's Karate Kid, there's Link, there's Ice Climbers, um, Abadox. What else is there? There's uh, DuckTales in there somewhere. And a couple of like really cool variants of some of the games that we didn't have. So um, super cool, right? And then uh, on top of that, there was a few extra games in the stack that we didn't need. So uh, an extra Zelda, an extra Tetris that looks really rough, um, an extra Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, wait that's not even the same game, this is Turtles 1, Turtles 2, uh, we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> and then another 
um, Goonies. So we just swapped out for um, better copies of the game. And then these are the extra ones that we already had. Um, so these are going to be for sale. So um, for the 22 games plus the system, it was $129. So it's a really good deal, especially considering that some of those games are worth like 20 bucks. Here's the problem. We went to test our systems out today. The Super Retron works great. Not a problem. It did have a problem playing um, Mother 2. I think that was the one he was trying to play. Uh, it said it wasn't compatible with the system, so we don't know if it's the cartridge that's, you know, not compatible with the second party system or what exactly it, it is with that, but we'll figure that out later. Um, but the Retron HD would not work at all. Um, and so, I mean, it would turn on, but you know, like when you turn your uh, Nintendo on and you get those weird, like, pixelated blocks and it's all messed up? Um, it does that no matter what. We checked the connectors, we looked inside, and it actually looks like some of the pins on the 72 pin connector are bent uh, and kind of pushed back, so they're not making a good connection. We even tried cleaning it, um, tried moving the pins over and stuff like that, but unfortunately, we can't get it to connect, so it's not working. So now we're in this dilemma. You know, we did pay $129. But that $129 was also including the value of this item, and now it doesn't have value. You know, we were valuing it at about $60. Now, you know, it's worth whatever it's worth in parts, or it's trash. So um, we do have the ability of going back and returning the items to the pawn shop, but if we return the system, that means we have to return all the games. So here we are in this predicament of, you know, do we return the item and the games? And just lose out on everything or do we keep the items keep the game or keep the system and use it as like a display or do we sell this for parts so uh, Malice and I have been trying to decide what we want to do Ooh, we did just get it last night so uh, and we literally just before this video found out that it wasn't working so um, you know I think what we're probably gonna do is sell it for parts because you know, somebody might need everything else. Um, but yeah, what would y'all do if y'all just got something that was an awesome pickup, but, you know, half or a third of it was broken after the fact? Um, thing about our pawn shop is we have a good relationship with them, so we do have the ability to kind of, like, work within the system and, like, they do offer, they do, uh, allow us to return items within, I think it's a three day grace period at that particular pawn shop. Um, but some other pawn shops, it's like, nope, once it's out of the store, that's your problem. So um, that's another thing why it's really important to have a good relationship with your pawn shops and stuff like that, people that you're doing business with. So when you do run into situations like this, you're able to get them taken care of, or at least it's not gonna hurt you in the long run. Maybe we can go back and let them know, hey, you know, uh, it didn't work. And not that they'll, do anything spe special or anything like that, but you know, maybe they'll be a little bit more generous on a discount on another item in the future or something like that to make up for this item not working, you know? Um, don't go and expect anything like that, but you know, it's always, it, you know, you wanna take care of the people you're working with too and like be honest with them and, and hopefully they'll be honest with you and work with you in the future um, fixing issues like this. So yeah. Uh, that's it really y'all. Uh, it's like I said, it's been a slow day. After this, we're going to get some stuff posted, get some videos made. I do have a couple of um, big pickup videos that we're trying to work on. It's about two weeks off before I start my next class. So busy, busy, busy. Um, if you like what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help us out. Um, we've noticed we've gotten a couple new subscribers. Thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. Or thank y'all very much. We appreciate y'all being here, um, helping us help our business out. Um, it really means a lot to us. If you want to find out when we have our next video post, uh, we usually post at least every day, um, except for Sundays since eBay is closed. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. And until then, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.